liberty. Tyranny, liberty. Now, while the resolution may not be this extreme, it is certainly taking a major step toward the former, tyranny. Good morning, everyone. My partner, Robert, and I believe that the resolution the federal government should significantly increase control over American corporations is ridiculous and completely unnecessary. Now, Jerry has already defined many words for you, but here are my definitions. To begin, control is defined by the, by the Oxford Dictionary as a mean of regulating something. Regulation is also defined by the Oxford Dictionary as a rule of directive made and maintained by an authority, which is, in this case, would be the U.S. government. Corporations, he had defined as companies, but he forgot a ma one major important definition. Corporations are defined here as a company or group of people authorized to act as a single entity, legally a person. So in accordance to the resolution and by the definitions we have just presented, the affirmative plan is to permit the government to rule and regulate companies or single entities. This act is both <coughs> morally and constitutionally wrong. Written in 1789 by James Madison, Amendment 14 of the Constitution states that no person shall be deprived of life, liberty, or property. As defined earlier by the Oxford Dictionary, a corporation is technically legally a person. This permits corporation to, pre to be protected under the Constitution and its rights. Liberty is defined as the state of being free within uh, society from oppressive restrictions imposed by authority by the Oxford Dictionary. As written in the Constitution, any type of regulation placed upon corporations would be stripping away the freedom of the corporation or person and imposing restrictions upon them that would be controlled by the government. This act would take away the corporation's liberty, thus committing an unconstitutional act. Here's a mathematical analogy to clear, it up, to clear things up. Using the transitive property of equality, we can start with the definition of the Oxford Dictionary that socialism is a mean of regulating production, distribu distribu distribution, and exchange within a uh, specific group. Thus, the resolution is a form of socialism. Socialism using the transitive property is equal to the USSR. The USSR is, tech is led by Stalin. Stalin was the most prolific leader of the USSR, and he has killed a lot of people, so therefore it's equal to death. Death of liberty. Do you want the death of liberty? I don't think so. Now, all kidding aside, the death of liberty is truly unconstitutional, as by Amendment 14. And such an author will never be able to pass uh, both the Supreme Court and Congress because, again, it's unconstitutional. It will never be ruled in favor. Uh, and Jerry had mentioned that 51% of people believe the economy is poor. But, from the Gallup poor, uh, poll, but I also have another Gallup poll. 53% of Americans favor capitalism over socialism. This proves that majority of the country still believes that our country should stick with capitalist ideals rather than socialistic ideals, as what this resolution would uh, eventually permit. Furthermore, increasing control over corporations could even, could even possibly lead to an economic disaster within our country. Found on the DNI.gov under the National Intelligence Council, a brief history of Russia's attempt to regulate corporations during the 1990s was described. Within the document, it mentions that Russia's regulation over the fish, fish industry. The government had set prices for each company, indicating how expensive their fish could be sold for and how many fish they could possibly sell. This led not to cheaper fish prices, but instead to rising prices for fish, since there was little competition for corporations to win over more consumers by offering lower or discounted prices. Due, due to the expensive cost of fish, the document also describes the black market activity in Russia for fish and how it rose during this period of control. In fact, the black market was so profitable that it actually, on estimate, controlled about 60 to 90 percent of the total market of fish during, uh, since no regulation was necessary for these black market fish. <laughs> Clearly, history shows that imposing regulations upon prices for corporations has utterly failed to effectively work. In conclusion, while the affirmative side may, may entice you to believe that regulating corporations would provide equal opportunity for all, this act would be considered unconstitutional under the 14th Amendment, proclaimed that every person is given rights to life, liberty, and property. Compounded upon that is the fact that even other countries, such as Russia, where it has been attempted, has, led up, has ended up being just a fiasco that would make the corrupt richer, and the honest poor, a trend that I'm sure no person wants.
For these reasons, I urge a negative vote.